I really love that we will move with the word of God right now. Mm -hmm. So I want to hand over to my sister, Sister Trish. Please take over and share the word of God. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. You know, in these times that we're in, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of disturbance. And yet Jesus said in John 16, 33, uh, I have said these things to you that in, may you, in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So our peace comes from him. And uh, he says, peace I, in John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give you. Let your hearts not be troubled. Let your hearts not be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. So that says to me that we have command over our hearts. We can, we can not let them be the way they want to be. You see, our heart, our, our mind, our will and our emotions make up our soul. But our spirit man, our spirit on the inside needs to be stronger than our heart, than our mind, and than our emotions, you see, and than our will. When we tap into Holy Spirit, when we connect with Holy Spirit in prayer, in communion with Him, we get the peace that Jesus talked about. And we can rise up on the inside and not listen to those fears going on in our heads, not listen to that voice inside our head that says we're not good enough, that we're not going to have enough, that our children are going to run away from God. No, those are lies. And we need to have our spirit agree. We need our spirit to be in charge of our mind and to calm our emotions so that we can speak the word of God over our family and over ourselves to have the mind of Christ and that peace that passes all understanding through the tribulations that we go through. You know what? What's the worst thing that can happen? We die. Well, to live as Christ and to die as gain. If you know Christ, even to die is to be with the Father. So what can men do to us? What can happen? Sure, I'm not a fan of pain and suffering. Nobody is. But we, even in that, he gives us grace to go through. So what I'd like to do is share with you a prayer strategy that I use to bring calm and tap into that peace and to connect with Holy Spirit. Would you like that? Would that be good? I think it would. It's kind of like a virtual hug. You know, um, all different cultures do things differently. In my, my culture, we love to hug. We love to embrace one another. And, uh, and in some cultures, you might not do that, men and women, but, but this touch is really important. It's, that's why the Bible talks about the laying on of hands. But, you know, we can lay hands on ourselves. And, you know, when you put your... How about we do that now? Put your arms around yourself, wherever you are. Wherever you are, as you feel, close your eyes, as you feel your arms wrap around you, I want you to see Jesus overlaying his arms over yours, that he is wrapping his arms around you even now. And as you feel that warmth from your arms, feel that Holy Spirit embrace. I thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus that covers every believer. Lord, I pray for the blood of Jesus to wash through every mind with courage, to wash out fear. Oh, what can men do to us? Father God, we are hidden under you. Lord, as the Psalm 91 says, we hide under your wings, that we are protected by you. To live as Christ and to die as gain. But right now we settle into your presence, Lord. We thank you for your arms being wrapped around us. That holy hug that we need so badly. That human connection. You were fully man and fully God, Jesus. We thank you that you are part of our lives. That you are in us and through us by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like you to 
remember a time of peace that how am I going for time pastor John how many minutes have I got I want to do this right five Oh, six, minutes. six minutes okay good so I'll go with four or five and then we'll pray okay that feel good yeah so I want you to think of a time when you were at peace when you were in a peace with God maybe it was in worship maybe it was in your room maybe it was just as you were going to sleep or waking up at a time when you felt safe and if you can't think of one just take a moment to ask him ask Holy Spirit to show you a time when you felt good and at peace maybe it was at the moment of salvation so take a moment and revisit that memory because God says to constantly remember the former things of, of the things that God has done so bring that back where you were and this is an exercise you can do later on as well bring it back where you were, what you can see, what you could smell, what you could hear. Take a moment and soak it in. And give thanks to the Lord for that moment, for that feeling, for that strengthening, for that peace. And I'm going to pray now and ask Holy Spirit to deepen that connection. Holy Spirit, every person on this broadcast, Lord, I speak peace. I ask you to bring them to that place of peace and go deeper. Deeper, Lord. We want more of you. Holy Spirit more of you thank you God and we thank you and in that memory <clears throat> of wherever you are maybe you're in a park maybe you're in a mountain top maybe you're in a quiet room just invite Jesus in to sit with you and be with you Jesus we invite you in Thank you, Lord, that you're with us, wherever you are. And Lord, as we sit with you, Lord, we ask you if there's anything you'd like to say to us in that moment. And you can take, when you do this by yourself later, you can take as long as you like, maybe put some worship music on and just sit in that presence and ask him if there's anything he'd like to say to you and when he speaks to you it might be a scripture verse it might be words from a song it might be something you've read but it will always be something that expresses his love for you and his encouragement to you Holy Spirit, what would you like to say? Lord, I thank you for your strengthening. He's speaking right now and telling someone that you are worthy, that you are loved. He's speaking now to someone else about your marriage and giving you hope. He's speaking through of, of healing to someone else. And those times when you felt discouraged and wanting to give up, he's saying, no, don't give up, I'm here. I'm here, I've always been here and I was here then and I'm here with you now and I'll be here with you moving forward. That the promises of God are yes and amen. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, fill. Lord, I pray that you fill every person, every room that every person is in with your presence. Lord, I speak to every spirit in every person and I say be strengthened and rise up. And I thank you, Lord, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of a sound mind subject to your Holy Spirit. 
Thank you, Lord, for your presence and your power, your love. And Father, I pray that presence and power emanates from each person so that as they go about their daily life, out of their eyes, out of their hands, out of their very movement, as they look around, they would see the way you see. They would see the person in front of them, the way you see them, that you would love, they would express that love of God for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. As we emerge from that moment, I want to invite you to capture that in your mind, in your heart, treasure it in your heart, and then when you're by yourself in your prayer time, you bring that back. Or when you start to feel anxious, bring that memory back and go, no, God was with me. And take a moment and pause and breathe and step into that anointing yet again. It will strengthen you. As soon as you feel anxious, it will strengthen you. So, Father, I pray your blessing on every person listening. I pray for souls. I pray for your people to rise up and reach out for souls in love. God, to share your word, to share your spirit, to share your love with them. Father God, I thank you for healing and salvation and mental peace, the peace that passes all understanding. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen.